The great auk was a flightless bird, almost three feet tall, and it weighed about 11 pounds. The species was commonly found in North Atlantic. It was an ocean feeder. During winter, it had a black and white head. The feeding grounds range from Spain to United Kingdom, Norway, Iceland, Greenland, and coastlines of Canada. The great auk was fast and graceful in water, but on land it was clumsy. It foraged on North Atlantic waters on fish and crustaceans. During summer, millions of great auks bred in colonies where they paired for life. Great auks had breeding colonies on rocky, remote islands. During summer, Ox developed a white patch around their eyes. The pair laid a single egg on the rocks. The eggs were almost five inches long and three inches wide. The eggs showed variations in the egg markings. Prehistoric humans hunted great ox for meat and eggs. By the year 1500, European explorers found the large colonies of the great ox and did the same. By 1700, the great auk became the main focus of the hunters for their prize feathers to make pillows and quilts that led to the frenzy of great auk killing. By 1800, most of the great auk colonies were gone due to massive hunting for meat, eggs, and feathers. As the great auk numbers plummeted, their eggs and feathers were in big demand by museums and collectors. In 1844, the last two known great auks were hunted by fishermen at Aldi Island near Iceland. There is a small statue of the great auk on this island in the memory of the extinct species. In 1884, American Ornithological Society started a peer-reviewed journal. It was named The Auk. They honored the memory of the great auk by publishing journals with great auk pictures on the front page for more than a century.